Hello, I'm James and thanks for joining me on Cowkind TV for Smart Market Insights. Dividends are small payments offered to shareholders in exchange for investing in a company's stock and it's typically taken out of a company's net profits. And in this edition of SMI, I'll take a look at three ASX finance companies that will pay a dividend in the first week of July, beginning with ANZ Bank. ANZ offers banking and financial products and also services. In May, the bank announced its results for the first half of the year for 2022. During the six months ending on March 31, 2022, the bank's cash profit from continuing operations increased by 4%. Additionally, ANZ reported a 20% increase in statutory profit. On May 27, 2022, ANZ announced that they would pay a 100% franked dividend of 72 cents per share. According to the ASX filing, the payment date of this dividend is due for July 1. The record date of the dividend was 10th of May 2022, and ANZ shares closed the day's trading at $21.39. Moving on, and National Australia Bank or NAB is a financial services corporation based in Australia. Business and private banking, personal banking, corporate and institutional banking, New Zealand banking and corporate functions are some of the company's segments. NAB, one of Australia's big four banks, reported a 4.6% growth in revenue in its six-month financial results ending on March 31st, with cash earnings up by 4.1%. NAB reported a statutory net profit of $3.6 billion Aussie dollars, and despite a $5 billion worth of share buybacks announced over the past year, the bank claimed it remained adequately capitalised. In May, the bank said it would pay a fully franked dividend of 73 cents per share on July 5. On June 17, NAB announced that it would pay a dividend of $1.04 per share on the 19th of September 2022. NAB shares closed the day's trading at $26.06. And lastly, Pendle Group is also set to pay a dividend. Pendle Group is an independent investment management firm established here in Australia. The company is committed to providing active management to its clients to maximise investment results. Pendle Australia, Pendle Yuka and Pendle US are the company's three segments. Pendle Group posted strong profitability for the year ending on the 31st of March. And the asset management firm's revenue increased by 31% owing to the acquisition of US-based investment manager Thompson, Seigel and Walmsley and rising global equity markets. On the 10th of May, Pendle Group announced that it would pay a franked 10% dividend of $0.21 cents per share on July 1. Pendle Group shares closed the day's trading at $4.18. Alright, that's all for this edition of Smart Market Insights. Another episode coming your way tomorrow. And until then, make sure to keep it locked here on Kaokai TV for the latest market insights and business news. I'm James, signing off for now.